There we go. There we go. There we go. <sighs> tough games. Very tough. This guy's good. Okay, there we go. We're going to play Brando Jacobson. Let's play Knight of Six here. It's plus three, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, play a King's Indian, maybe. Or, let's play a Grunfeld. I don't know where to play the Grunfeld. Okay, let's go H5. Queen B3. I'll go Knight B6. Play E6. Probably will go like E3. I do have Knight C6 somewhere here as well. LMAO the Grunfeld again. What's wrong with the Grunfeld? You hating on the Grunfeld? And always castle. Knight C6 looks completely fine. I can castle here. I mean, if G4, I always have like E5 as well. He goes Rook D1. I assume Queen E7 with the idea of E5 has to be right. There's Knight E4. Not a bad move, but not the move that I expected either. Uh, I think I'm just going to move my King. So I want to play E5 here. Of course I play F6, of course I play E5, of course I take with a knight. And now I have like C6, Bishop, E6. Like I have play here suddenly. What do you play to E4 when you play the alley? I can suspense, well that's why I'm a super GM. I've played every opening under the sun at one point in my life. Um, <laughs> so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's go here, attack the queen. Go Bishop F5. The castle's interesting. I can go C6 here maybe. I think I should actually, just in general to like shut the, shut the position down a little bit. And obviously go rook d8. I mean, I like my position here. I think it's a pretty decent position. It's not it's not like out of this world great, but I think it's fairly decent. The beach cafe opening, I don't know what that is, and I probably don't I probably don't want to know what the beach cafe opening is. Now I can play a5, but I assume I just go rook a d8. Just simple rock solid chess. Yeah, I probably don't want to know what the beach beach uh the beach opening is. Oh, but I miss queen c5, of course. Yeah, it's queen c5, which I completely overlooked. Do I take with a pawn or not? Alright. I think I'm gonna trade trade the trade like this. He's queen c5. Let's go b6 and trade. Okay, I've gotta find some moves here maybe just bishop d3 and trade hmm don't like what I've done I even play the Petrov Petrov I don't think I played in in raid rank games I don't think I ever played in rank games I did study it quite a while but I don't think I actually played it ever I go wait a second rook eight knight b6 e8 Okay, I'm spending too much time here. D8, Bishop C7, Rook C8 takes. I mean, this isn't what I want to play, but I do have Rook A6. And I'm going to go D4 next move, probably. No, that's no good. Yeah, I just have to make the draw. It's okay. This isn't what I want to do, but I should be able to draw this with some precise play. Let's go here. This should be a draw if I'm precise. Let's go here. I'm trying to do something here. Oh, what the, the heck was what the heck was that? Oh, it's just great. I just <laughs> now I have to reset. That's ridiculous. Uh, when it's the first game, it's really annoying. Uh, when it's the first game, it's just really annoying to do that. Like I don't, I don't mind second or third game, but when I hang a piece in the first game, it's really upsetting. Yeah, yeah, great start. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's precisely what you don't want to do. Homer Simpson mode, yeah. Um, 
go here the queen d3 of course gonna move fast though if I'm up on the clock it'll be fine but yeah I, I was way too slow in that game let's see five wait a second that hangs a pawn on I think I'm just gonna go rookie one I don't even know if rookie one's the best move but it seems fine I'm just gonna keep moving fast that's the bottom line I have to win five to one yeah I have to win five to one by five to one margin not to lose points so I basically need to adopt him so I need to reset and focus B7 should not be a good move. I'm gonna go rook B1, which is also not a good move, but it does some. Uh, I mean, go here. I'm just gonna force him to play G5. Okay, go here. Don't know whether I take with the queen or the. Just take. Could it? No, I couldn't take. Okay, I just take, of course. I should be much better because he's pushed pawns on the king side. 94. Now, this is not a good move. Go G4. Although, I, of course, this wasn't the right move. I should have gone bishop c2 right away, I think. And now it's going to be. Ugh, I just messed this up so badly. Let me just go here. I do have uh do I have f3 I have to go here yeah I'm starting to use too much time and I'm starting to misplay this position of course like everything else I'm playing Brandon Jackson yeah exactly okay I go f3 of course I mean at least here I'm better that that much is clear or am I actually better? He has this, which, once again, I did not even remotely consider. Go here. Yeah, I'm not playing very well at the moment. I can already tell. Yeah, I don't know what I'm even doing here. But I do have bishop b3, I think. Yeah. Hopefully this isn't a blunder. It could be, but I don't see it. Knight of four, rook c2, and I should be okay. Okay, now I can outskill him in an end game. You are what you, you are what you are, hanging around 1900 moves, yeah. Go here. G3. I'm gonna go here and rook a5. Maybe just uh gotta make I gotta come with moves. Gotta move quicker. I mean, he's low on time, so I, I have chances to just blitz him off the board here, potentially. There. I mean, I don't know if this is actually winning, but it feels like I should have chances to win this. He's so low on clock that I should be able to flag him. Yeah, now I should win. Yeah, I just win because I have rook a7. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, that's a good win. That's a good win after a terrible, terrible first game. And no Grunfelds here. Let's get back to G6 systems. Plays h4, I'll play h5. Okay. 
okay so far standard let's go here knight fd7 queen e7 it's four to one um yeah i'm gonna need to win five to one margin which is to not lose points which is pretty harsh i'm not gonna lie okay e5 now knight e5 should be fine or bishop e5 it's also queen e5 but probably i can take with a knight uh knight takes is objectively i think not the right moves but okay, let's just take with a bishop i don't, don't want to waste time thinking here like i'm gonna castle queenside most likely yeah, I think I'm just gonna castle queenside and play simple chess here. Probably rook h8 and who knows. Go here. Afraid to play the Grunfeld. It's not about being afraid to play the Grunfeld. It's that basically um, I need the right kind of openings. I mean, I, it, openings is the wrong. Way. I, like I this guy's Brandon's so Brandon's so good that like I can't just play stupid stupid stuff. That's kind of the point. It just doesn't work work like that. I'll go here. Oh, did I have bishop g3? Maybe I did. Maybe I missed it. It was c4. That's actually probably a very good move that I missed. Um, Let's take. Let's go here. Attack the bishop. Yeah, I'm, I, this, my position's not very good now. There are potentially a lot of problems with my position. Yeah, there, there are... I think a lot of problems here maybe I go to h8 actually I think I go to h8 so I have queen g7 yeah I need like queen g7 some kind of battery there's 94 but now hmm again I still need a move maybe I just sack the exchange a five knight g5 doesn't look right I've just got to move though um bum bum you got to move you got to move maybe I just go here is there bishop h6 even I'm up on clock which is all that objectively matters I guess but pretty ugly position like I'm gonna need f5 yeah, he does it I go here and trade Let's go here if he takes I just take now at least f5 is a legitimate threat at some point um I have knight g5 queen f6 knight e6 f5 knight g5 f4 bishop f2 I'm gonna go for it I probably should have used more time before blitzing this but I mean, he can obviously take, I guess, if he wants to. But it's very complicated, because now my queen on f Oh, he just takes. I did not expect that. If I play rookie one, rookie one, and queen g7. Queen e6. Shoot, I'm just blundering like a lunatic. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Still have chances here, I guess. My king is in the center, at least. Go here. I can probably draw this, actually. Okay, now I have chances maybe to win. I have here yeah now I have chances to win I might win now I think I will win come on keep it going let's go here there we go good not good but it's good all right two one let's keep going let's keep going with e4 keep playing this old Not good, but good. <laughs> no, it's not good, but I made it work. 
Yeah, he's playing the C5 garbage. This is actual garbage. I know the C C5 is not a move. Like I, I know this is not a move. I might be old school having having like been playing chess before Brandon was alive and, and not not seen this move then, but I, I I know back in the old days we knew how to play chess and C5 is not a move. I'm telling you, it's just not a move. Uh, you know what? It's not a move. I'm just I'm just gonna prove him wrong. I, I just I don't believe him. I, I don't believe him. He just he's giving up a pawn. I don't believe him. Watching your mood alone increases the elo drastically. <laughs> Back in the old days before Brandon was alive, yeah. Like again, I just I don't believe that this is. Let's go here. Yeah, I mean I can even just go queen f three. Like, like what what am I panicking about exactly? I just go queen f three and trade and big boo hoo hoo. What's the big deal? Nice take. It goes there. I mean, obviously, it's not like this is like winning or anything. But again, I mean, I'm up a pawn here in this position. Like, I, I should not really ever be afraid. Farouja's, yeah, Ali Rez has been online for the last like 10 hours, but he's not, he's not playing. He challenged me early on today. Early in the day, he challenged me. I mean, of course I go B4. Bishop E5. Okay, but see, this doesn't look right either. Maybe I just go King G2. Let's just go King G2. I always have rookie one later. I just don't want to play it right off. It goes for this. I go here. Whoa, what is that? That's not a move that I was expecting at all. I do have knight a6 maybe. I was just trying to, he's trying to find some way to force a draw. I just realized. Seriously, do I not have a way to play on? Well, this is unfortunate to put it mildly. Bishop e6, and I don't have a way to play on. Unbelievable. This will go here. Risky. Very risky to play like this. Yeah, there's also Bishop d3, which I just completely overlooked. And yeah, now, now I'm just gonna have to like force to draw somehow like a3 or something yeah, that's was so stupid by me oh frustrating Wait, but I have here maybe bishop b3 or something I'm gonna go here and take of course A four. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Why am I even playing like this? It's so stupid. I'm going to go H4, maybe King G3 here. Don't actually know why I did this either, but whatever. H5. I can go, like, maybe I can just... I go F5. It's Rook B4 or something. Okay, I guess I should just take. I mean, I need to basically cheese him on the clock, I think. How do I do this? Okay. I've got to move. Okay, but now I can't lose. Okay. 
Okay, this is good. There we go, I got him. Mm, let's go. Deep War was a good move as it turned out. Yeah, let's... Mm. Okay, I'm gonna play standard here with D6, no nonsense. But this isn't good. It's scary, but this is not supposed to be good for white. If I play this correctly, I'll win this game. The sack is not is not supposed to be precise, I don't believe. Go here. The queen g6. Could be wrong, of course, but we'll see. Uh, do I play queen g6 or do I, do I develop is also... I think knight c6 is supposed to be fine here with queen g6 next move. Because now I have knight b4, that's the whole point. I have knight b4 here. Attack the bishop. Because the whole point of this line is there's knight b4 at some point. I'm gonna go h5 and bishop h6. Should be fine. Still messy though, still very, very messy. See what he does here. Okay, he goes a3 as expected. Um, go back. He does a bishop d3. h6 d5 is a problem. I misplayed this. Probably I have. No, no, knowing the way that I pl I'm playing right now, I probably have misplayed this. It's got a move though. I just like I can't find a move. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I literally can't think of a move to play, so. 25 and like. I'm gonna do this. Probably is losing or something. I'm just gonna castle and pray. Yeah, it's like I can't, I can't think of a move to play right here. I mean, I'm hanging a pawn, but who cares? I could take on d4 maybe. Wait, no, no, I can't take this right. But I can play bishop g4, maybe. Um, is there a move here? Is there a move? Is there a move? I'm trying to think if there's a move. Is there a move? I'm just going to go here. It's not a good move, but... Ugh. Like, I just... I, I'm getting too long time here. That's the problem. If I take... go here no I don't even know what I'm doing what am I I was supposed to go yeah I don't even know what I'm doing I'm just losing my mind here oh wait no I can maybe take on e5 too oh this is completely insane what I'm doing It's got this, and I'm just lost, or some nonsense, too, probably. Oh, there's e5, which I didn't see either, of course, yeah. Oh, well, maybe if I can sack somehow, I can survive. I mean, very unlikely, but... Ah, uh, frustrating. Yeah, I'm not playing my best chess right now, as usual, at the end of a long stream. I just have to find some way to survive here. Knight, knight f5. Go here. Knight h6, king f8. I'm just trying to survive, basically. If I can somehow survive for a few more moves, then there's some, there's some hope. He's actually misplaying this a little bit, I think. 
I'm still lost, but it's not obvious, I feel like. Takes me. I have to take with a knight. I have to block. This much is clear cut. But first of all, I can play rookie three. And then I can take. I can go h4, queen f2, and play the game. And he's way down a clock. And maybe I can swindle him now. Yeah, I think I'm going to swindle him. Let's go, rookie one. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, no no more nonsense. Good chess. Good chess. Enough nonsense. Like, enough with the bad moves. Enough with the bad moves. Oh, let's play the Trump house key. Go E3 here. Go Queen B3 and trade. <laughs> yeah, from that position, don't ask me. I'm not going to play that line again. No, no more of those bad lines. That's the bottom line. I could take on c5 here. I think I'm just going to go knight d2, though. Probably going to play c4, if I had to guess. It was bishop g4, which looks really awkward. Play h3. I mean, I don't know if h3 does anything, but... Okay, but now I can also take... Maybe I can just take and take? Wait, I think Brandon's tilting a little bit here. Oh, I could also... I also could have taken on c5, but okay, whatever. I have rook b1 here, and I take the juicer. Yeah, he, he's, he's tilting a little bit. I'm a little bit lucky. I also have knight c4 here. Or queen b3. Knight c4, queen c7, queen c5, e5. Probably good. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the safe route with queen b3 here. Knight c4 probably is good, but it's it's I think a little bit too risky to play. Let's trade and go here. A knight f3. And yeah, now now I've survived. Now the worst is over, and again, I've got a good position. Um, don't actually know which square is right, but I'm going to go to E2. So D6, no. I mean, if I want to, I'm going to go Knight C1 and Bishop D3. It's very kind of cheesy, but it's just a way of locking everything down. Now, I can play D5. I can also just take and go Bishop D3. It's the whole point of Knight C1. Okay, I don't care. I really don't care. I mean, maybe I should, but let's go Knight D3. E4. Mm, probably should have played f3 to support it. Still can go f3 and king e2, though, and I should be fine now. b5, logical. Wants to go c4 here. Let's go here, knight f2. I know I'm better, but I still I still have to be careful how I play this. Like, rook d1 and knight f1. And even just a3, and... Yeah, now, now I've survived the worst. The worst should be over here. Yeah, the worst is definitely over because I can even reroute an IT3. Yeah, the worst is over. Fellow Dutchie in chat. Yeah, road to adoption if I can, sure. But can I actually adopt him? Very unclear, very murky. Now, I, I realize I can also take, but do I want to take or not? Nah, I think, I mean, A3 is fine too. No, I don't want to go a3. I can take on f5 and play knight f1. I want to play a3. I think just knight f1 and knight d1. Why am I being stupid? He goes f4. Okay, so now... Wait, he goes f4. So wait, wait, wait. Now I should trade a set of rooks. And now it's just a matter of maneuvering my knights back into the game. That's that's all this is. I go knight g4, f6. Lock the pawn on f6. I might have h4 here. It's going to have to go f6, and I can play b3, and now I start to unwind the position. And now, eventually, I bring the juicer back. I forced a pawn weakness here, and I think strategically I should be much better. I'm not winning, of course, but I should be better. I think I want to run my king to b2 and go rook d1. Yeah, I think that's that's definitely the goal. Get the king to, like, c2 and b2. Because we're playing a bad bishop versus... My knight's not great on g4, but it's easier to maneuver. The bishop can't actually go almost anywhere here. Just there. That doesn't worry me. I just move my king back. He can't push the pawn ever, so... I can always even reroute the knight to d2. This bishop will get active, but who cares? But he's also down on clock, so I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape here. 
if I'm precise. Also, I have rook d1, rook d6 as well, which is a big threat. I should win this game. It's going to be a 5 to 1 margin, so I'm not going to lose rating points, I guess. Um, I also have a 4 here, which is the whole point. Knight f8. Okay, so where's his knight going? Nowhere, exactly. Ah, he's trying to go to b6. Okay. Goes f5. That doesn't really concern me. That's a mistake. Now my knight gets to f3, I think. Oh, his knight gets to c4 too, though. How do I do this? Sorry, you guys, if I'm ignoring you. Give me one second. Go here. Oh man, close. I took too too long. I yeah. At some point, you have to decide how you want to win the game or on the on the clock. Okay. Uh, no no more nonsense. Just play knight f six. Simple chess. Thank you just be kind for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Should just be kind. Appreciate. It. Thank you for the five gifted. Five one. So I'm trying to push my rating up ever so slowly if I can. Take. Oh, he took with a knight. Whoops. Didn't expect that. Okay. Close castle. There's B4. I think I'll take. I'm playing knight e4 here. I'm gonna go knight e4, attack the queen. And then knight d7, knight e5, maybe. Maybe rook c8. Yeah, I like my position. It's not clear cut what's going on, but I like the position objectively. Go here and I have knight e5. I also have knight d6, maybe. As long as bishop e6 doesn't concern me, it really doesn't. If he does it, he does it. So be it. I don't care. This bishop b3, I expected that. I can play queen g5, maybe even a5 here, but I actually, objectively, I don't like my position. Yeah, the two bishops are kind of a problem here for me to deal with. I guess I'll go knight f6. Maybe I have e5 somewhere. He goes knight c6 to trade. Okay, fine. Let's just trade. I guess I'll go here, trade some rooks. Bishop f6, I just take. I take. And go queen d7, maybe. Yeah, let's just attack the rook. Oh, rook c8 is rook d6. What the heck? What the heck was that? <sighs> yikes. Let's go here. Yikes. Big yikes. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wait. Wait, no. Rook d7? No, no. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> very, very ugly. I have not watched Master Chef. No, I'm playing Blitz right now. Oh, evidently my play is not where I want it to be. That, that much is for sure. Yeah, Bishop E5. Logical move. Oh, wait, but now maybe I can go Rook C... Wait, can I go Rook C8 now? Now there's an Ice Skater. Rook c8, rook c. This is d5, e d5. I think there's an ice skater now. If he takes, takes, takes. He gets ice skater. It's like call the ambulance. Okay, put the bishop on e5. So maybe I'm in the game. Just take. If he takes, I just take, of course. It's not the dream, but it's it's kind of playable. It's it's a uh, biscuits versus versus d's knights. Two two priests versus two knights. Last time I was below 3,100. I think I was very slightly below 3,100. Maybe recently even. Maybe like a, sometime this week. Of course, I go here. The bishop b5. So I assume I should play like... I mean, f6 looks like the right move, but I don't know if it's right. So I'm going to play it, I guess. I hope it's right. 
So it's it's a weak it's committing a weakness for sure. But I have knight d6 here and knight of five. Because bishop b8. Ah, because now knight d6 isn't a move. Shoot. Because now he takes and he's queen c8 and queen e8. I go knight e7, bishop a7. Queen a8. Knight e7, bishop a7. I mean, it's risky, very risky to take the pawn. I don't think he can. And it goes there. Now I'm going to go knight of five to take the bishop, and I think I'm okay here. Maybe okay is a little bit too generous. Yeah, he's got queen c6, which of course I, I missed completely. King f7. Queen b7, queen e7. I mean, it's still, still tricky. It goes e4, which looks wrong. It looks bigly wrong. Knight e7 to attack the queen. This looks kind of very wrong to me. It's like a mistake of fairly bigly proportions. Knight d4, knight g... Ah, he's got this. Okay. Knight d4, queen d3. Let's take, let's go uh, here. Should have played knight c8, knight d6, of course, but anyway, whatever. Check. I figure I can always just draw. I just keep all the... I, I'm just going to keep the tickle tickle alive forever. As long as I keep the tickle tickle alive, I'm fine. Go here, knight e5. Ah, he's got f5. Be a problem. I'll go here and king e7. Or king g7 is better, of course. So I keep the knight g4 idea alive. No, this was wrong, though. Got him. Let's go again. Six to one. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep going. Let's go e4. Let's play. Uh, let's play some Vienna's here. Let's take. All right. Brandon's the guy, a kid who knows these these silly lines with Bishop g4. I think. Well, let's go h3. Why not? Play rookie one. Yeah, I'm gonna play knight d2 idea knight c4 here. I think a4 is fine. But like rook b okay, it goes there, I go here. It's king h2 and knight b3 is the idea, of course. Maybe queen h5 also a move potentially. Potentially a move. Depending what he does. He's using a bunch of time here. It goes bishop d5, interesting. Not the move that I was expecting, that's for sure trade I can also not trade I can also play queen g4 I'm gonna go queen g4 here to trade the bishops or the queens rather I should say should be better Bran is tilted unlikely now I could take um go here force the queens off the board Go here, attack the bishop. I have c4 here as well. See what he does. I mean, I think I'm better. I just don't know if I'm like a little bit better or I'm much better. There's e4. Now I can play c4. I can also just play like d4. Actually, why is d4 not just very good? But I have c4, which is an epic threat. His bishop on b6 is absolutely horrible. Or a5 is horrible. If I get c4, d5, he loses the bishop. There's rook d8. I think if I play rook d1. I go rook d1, what's his move even? Yeah, I mean, this looks very scary for black. Oh, did I put the wrong piece? I should have put the other rook on d1, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? I think I might have put the wrong rook on d1. He goes, wait, but now I have d5? What? 
What am I missing? Let's take. Okay, I'm in this. Oh, do I go to C4 and E3 or B3 and D4? Very tough spot here. Um, if I go this way, I think I go this way. Also, I'm not sure if I should trade the pawns or not, because that gives them another open file. I don't know what the move is. I'll take and just go here on bishop e3. I don't really know if it's right to give him this extra open file, but it is what it is. On the other hand, my pawns are pretty good too. Like his pawns can't move, so I should be better. He's using a lot of time. He goes to g5, play h4. If he takes, I just take and blockade. I mean, this should be close to winning. Maybe not winning, but this should be very good for me with bishop f4. And I go here, rook a7. Go here. I check. I don't want to check, though. Let's go here, attack the pawn. Yeah, it should be good for me, because now the pawn is hanging on c5 here. Goes h5, so if I take, f4 takes. Yeah, this is just winning. Yeah, because f4 I take here. Knight e4, f3 check, takes, takes, ef2. Yeah, I, I have knight f6 with the class at 4 karu, and then I plant the flag on d4, and it's gg. There we go. There we go. It's a big, big win here. Big win. Here goes king g6. Um... F3 is a move. I'm just debating whether it's move I want to play. And yeah, it just traps the rook. Oh, but he's got king f5, actually, which I missed. Mm -hmm. Still, after bishop to d4, this should be winning. Bishop f2 is also playable, but and now I just activate the rook around the back, and this is just technically winning for me. There we go. When Master Chef, not right now, that's for sure. Um. Go check, I guess. Yeah, and now I just take and take, and I mean, they're just pretty straightforward. Let's go, um, go check. Check. Go check. And now I go like here. It's got there, which I missed. Check. Yeah, now, now it should just be pretty simple. C5 and bishop D6 and... Yeah, he resigns. Let's keep going. All right. Another big win. Trying to push trying to push it as much as I can. 7 to 1. Let's play D5. I don't really want to take risks here. Let's see what he does. I hear you say the term mathematically winning. Do you like that term? Um... Well, it's just, a, it's just, it's just basically not mathematic. I mean, technically, technically is the word that you actually mean, but, uh, technically winning. I just mean like, if I play the correct moves, I know that I'm winning the position. That's the bottom line. Um, that's, that's really what it's about. So I'm going to go here in castles. Yeah. That's technically, I technically meaning is that it's, um, technically winning. Do I think Dan's best to play blitz? No, he's the best to play blitz without increment. Let's put it. Let's be very clear on that. Without increment, Dan is amazing. With Ingraman, he's it's quite a different story, and that's why, of course, all the major tournaments that are that players compete in do have uh, do have Ingraman, um, because it's it's just a much different game. Now, can I play Knight C6 here? I feel like I cannot. So, if I if I feel like I cannot play it, I, I should do it, right? Yeah. If I feel like I can't play it, I should. Winning is an undefendable advantage, something like that. I don't know. Now, I can play Knight Five. I can also go Knight Before. Go here. Yeah. No, technically winning, it just means that I know that if I play perfectly, like if I had an hour on the clock or infinite time, I would win no matter what. Oh, did I allow Knight G5 like a total Moron? I think I did. Wait, if I go H6, he has 96, Bishop F3, wait. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. H6, nice and can't... No, this isn't correct. No, yeah, I'm saying at 3-0 for like a 2600 player, he's incredibly good. But with increment, um, it changes quite a bit. It takes, but now, wait, but now I have bishop f3, no? No, but now I just take. 
I mean, I think he just missed Bishop F3. And it's not like this is actually all clear cut and winning, but it's going to be very hard for him to survive. Yeah, I think he just missed Bishop F3. I go here. Yeah, I mean, this, this has to be just winning. His pawns are doubled, weaknesses everywhere. Knight covers the critical squares around the king. Yeah, I'm going to win this game. So it'll be eight to one, actually. It goes there. As long as I don't do anything really insane here. That's, that, that, that is possible still. If I play queen d7. Queen g6, rookie eight, queen d7. Still not trivial. No, no, okay, wait. I should go here, of course. I should try... Oh, I should have played queen c8 to take the pawn. What am I doing? That was insane, okay. Okay, that was just ridiculous. Maybe just bishop d6 then? Maybe just queen h3. Okay, let's just go here. Yeah, I go... Here and I threaten mate in one. And yeah, now I used to go queen g2. I trade and I win the game. There we go. I just trade and now I just go like here trade the bishops knight h5 knight f4 go here knight f4 obviously and he's not gonna be able to save both of these pawns I go here hit the bishop this hangs I resign so let's keep going eight to one eight out of eight yeah we're going for the adoption of Brando okay, go let's let's keep going let's play d4 here let's play the Trump house key once again very very rock solid opening um I mean, hey, look at look at look at who it's named after. Let's play C three. We play Queen B three here. I am listening to the same music as you guys. Um, could have played Knight D two as well, but who cares? But it's actually just turning into something very standard here. Let's go Knight D two. Um, I will just castle. Plays B six. Now I could go E four here maybe. I'll also take um let's just take i don't know if this is right but it's a move let's go e4 here page four yeah this is fine yeah this this should be fine it was rook b8 so i can obviously take on d5 here queen c2 maybe i can also just play like i can also go e5 or no let's just play b3 keep it keep it solid keep it stone solid here should be seven logical I can go e5 I think I'm gonna go e5 trade the trade the bishops and play like something simple as trade okay let's go rookie one and it's f6 which of course oh do I have bishop h7 and rookie six almost not quite um I guess I'll just go rook c1 oh did I just give him e5 Oh, no, I have C4. Okay. 95, logical move. Uh, if I take... I can take and play Knight F3. I don't like it. I think I'm just going to drop back to E2, probably. It goes with D8. Yeah, I don't, I don't like what I've done at all here. I've played this game horribly. It's a very bad position, objectively. This is actually quite bad. Uh, but I, I have to come up with moves. So you play the game of chess to find moves. I don't have I don't have any other options. Okay, I just go here in 91. And this is bad, but maybe I can survive. Maybe let's go here. I'm way down a clock, which also does not help at all. 95. Okay, logical. Maybe I can go f4 though, or f3. Wait, f3 maybe. No, I guess I'll just go f4. No, that's a bad move. No, why did I do that? I just, yeah. <laughs> Go here, maybe attack the bishop. After such, after such a great last couple of games, to play like this is really disappointing. I don't even have any good moves here. That's how bad this position is. Okay, now I just pretend and try to hope that I'm okay. I play this like a stonk fish. E3 is surprising to me because now I can blockade maybe. 
I don't like E3, actually. I think E3 might be a very bad move long term. Because as long as I don't let him battery me on this diagonal, I might be okay here. I might even have chances to win. Queen E6. Oh, wait. Oh, but F5, Queen D5. Wait. For E2. I guess I go here. I mean, Rook C2 might be the only move. <laughs> Very possible it's literally the only move that isn't just losing on the spot here. If I get Knight G2, maybe I'm okay, though. Maybe. Because now F5 also is a threat down the road. There, I mean... Wait, but there's Queen D4, maybe? Three. Yeah, I think okay. I have to prune as a safe prune. Let's see what he does. Where's the win, bro? Either he's a win here or I'm winning. Um. I don't think he has a win. I think I'm actually winning here. Yeah, no, I'm okay, I just block it. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Let's keep rolling. Good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, except I'm terrible at chess. Let's play E6, um, go check. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, except I'm also just bad at chess. Let's play B6 and Bishop B7. <laughs> I'm bad, I'm bad at chess, but I'm good at everything else. Just take... Okay, I can play knight d7 here, I think. I think. I go knight fd7. Wait, wait a second. I'm bad, I'm bad at chess. I can also go c. Wait, if I take and play c5. Just take. And c5. Let's go c5. There is a clip feature, yeah. Yeah, what a, what a heck of a song. What a heck of a song to uh, to have playing at this time. There's E3, I expected that. Um, I can play Knight A6 maybe. Yeah, I think I go Knight A6 here to hold the pawn. And I should be okay here suddenly. Yeah, Queen A4. Okay, I, I assume... Okay, Rook C8's a move. Knight C7's also a move. I assume this is fine. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Good, I'm good, I'm good. Good, I'm good. So it's Queen Sun, so I can obviously trade. I thought I could play Rookie 8, though, actually. I think this is fine, just takes. Maybe I'm missing something, but I think it's fine. Wait, don't I have rook c7? Or rook e7, I mean? What? Another great song, of course. 
Just think about what the moves are. Oh, he's got this one, which I didn't actually see. Shoot, I missed this. Ah, crud. Might only be a draw. Oh, I'm thinking too long here. I'm thinking too long. I'm thinking too long. Focus. I just have to make moves. I, I don't have time for this. I just got to move. Got this, which of course is a big problem. Let's go here. I mean, I have H5, H4. How did, how did I misplay this? Unbelievable. I guess I just go G6, maybe. Probably it's just a draw, but... Mm. Got E4, which, of course, I also missed. Take. E4 is not the best move, though, because now there are a chance for me to win here, maybe. There are definitely a chance for me to win now. Did I have some Queen H5 trick here? Oh, I think I might have a Queen H5 there. Aye, aye, aye. Let's go here, attack the Rook. Or, of course, that's a good move that I missed, as usual. Yeah, I might just be lost here. Maybe B5 is the only move. So have to stay calm here just stay calm and that's allowing queen c5 okay now i'm gonna get something queen c3 is maybe slightly better i don't know it doesn't matter show goes on a4 is a big mistake by brando maybe a big mistake is too strong but oh did i wait but i have a cafe okay okay Okay, okay, I'm in it. I'm in it. I go A3. Let's just move. I assume that I want to run my king up. I, I don't know if that was right, but. the hook that game I should have flagged him let him off the hook very frustrating whatever my rating is still quite good though I shouldn't complain too much minus for five for draws unfortunate yeah tell me about it I let him off the hook I let him off the hook we knew who they were and we let him off the hook as the as Denny Green would say back in the old days um my castle I'm going to go knight a5 here, put pressure on his pawn on b7 here. Go bishop d2 here. I think a4 is correct. g4, I play h3. Wait, there is b4 here, but there's also bishop e3 to hit the knight. There's also knight c4. Oh, I was supposed to play knight c4 right away. That's actually what I did wrong. Yeah, I was supposed to play knight c4 on bishop g4. Yeah, I was supposed to go knight c4, knight e3, and I missed it. Another mistake by me, but whatever. Go so, here, I guess. I'm going to play g4. I'm going to go knight h4 here. I'm bishop h6 and attack. Go here. I'm 
It's knight f4, which I, I also conveniently overlooked. They can go here. Knight f3, maybe. I'm moving too fast here. Do I think Dan is the best player to ever play Hyper Bullet? Absolutely not. That actually is not even a question. Um, no, I mean, that, that would be Andrew Tang. <laughs> Andrew is ridiculous. I don't even know how he does it. Andrew Tang just absurd at Hyper. I don't even know what to say about him. It's just that ridiculous. I mean, maybe I just go like Rook D1 and the Knight F3 or something. I don't know. If I take... Oh, why can't I just... Can't I just take the pawn there, maybe? Probably I could have, but... Okay, whatever. It's not the time to think. Hyper and Ultra, I don't even know what the difference is between the two, but you guys can tell me and, and lecture me about it all. D6, I... Do I have C... Maybe I just go Knight F3? Yeah, I'm gonna go C3 here and play for D4. I know it's actually good, but I feel like it's worth a shot. Oh, maybe I could have played, ah, uh, maybe I could have played B4. Maybe B4 is also an idea there, but okay, whatever. Who cares? We keep moving. There he does. Because he's losing material here, I think. Oh, Ultra is 15? Okay, wait. So it goes G5, so if I play D4, what's happening? I can also play B4 here. I go D4, Queen C6, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I refuse to think. Okay, and I go... Ah, he wants to... This is why I need a B4, actually. This is exactly why I need to play B4. Go here. I don't know what I'm doing here. Now I'm just actually starting to blunder. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I take... Play here... No, because now I'm going to need to reroute the knights, but he blunders knight d4, which is fairly severe. Because now I get knife f5. I'm going to go knight e1 and like knight f3 maybe, or knight d3. Takes, which also looks kind of weird to me. Okay, I can again play like h4 maybe. Put pressure on the king side. He takes, I go queen d2. Uh, queen f4. Assume I should sidestep with king h2 or something. I need to be careful still, though. Yeah. I mean, I'm up on clock. Uh, let's just go f3, lock it up. Is there not queen h6? There might be, but I don't know. Let's go here and take. Now I have queen h6 though, don't I? And now I have queen h6. There we go. I tricked him. He can take, but I take, and he, he can't. I mean, he gets two pawns, but it's not enough. Oh, did he find a trick on me? Oh no, he found some stupid trick that I missed. Oh shoot, I've got 22 seconds here. Great. I got him. I got him again. Let's keep going. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, let's play knight f6. Something different. Let's play this old line. I guess I'll play rook e8. He goes knight b1, rook e8, bishop f8. All very standard. Um, I'm going to play b6 and bishop b7 here to Fianchito. Target the pawn on e4. Yeah, I mean, the, the actual peak rating is much more important to me than anything else. He goes d5. I'm going to play c6 here and try to trade, I think. Takes, I take back. Not super concerned by that move. Um, b4... I don't even know if h6 does anything, but it looks like a reasonable move to play, so I'm going to play it. I guess I'll go rook c8. Let's go queen c7. 
queen b1. I'll go queen b8, of course. I'm going to go here and maybe reroute the knight, potentially. Let's go here, 96, 94, maybe. I go here. 95, bad move, by the way. Very poor move. Now I go here to get rid of the knight. Now I go, like, I can even go 96, I think. Do I play rook d8? No, probably I go rook d8 first. A knight of five, I just go 96. And then I have knight d4. And, uh, maybe I put the wrong knight here, possibly. Possibly. Maybe I should have put the other knight and gone g6, but again, whatever. That's just life. There's queen e3. So now I think I go h5, and I think I'm starting to outplay him. Go g6, kick the knight away. Or rook d4. I don't like that. I guess I'll just take. Go here. You can take, obviously. Knight h5. I take and blockade. So I go knight e6 now. And now these knights are pretty good on e6 and d4. And I'm starting to, again, outwork him. And obviously, trade. I don't want to trade. Just go here and. Oh, I give knight c3. Very poor. That was very bad by me. Or is there queen c4 in here, too? Here. So here, okay, he missed this. So now I'm now I'm fine again. Oh, if I take her. Hmm. Probably I'll just go H4 and trade pawns here. Oh, did I just blunder again? I think I did. Knight of four, knight of four, and I don't have a good move. What the heck was that? Here, knight of four, maybe rookie five. I mean, this is getting very weird. I mean, my knights are jumping, but this is getting very dank. It's getting really, really dank, and I, I don't like what's going on, honestly. The pre move takes. I mean, you can take on d4. I should pre move it and go rookie five, and then I mean, okay, if he's got something, he's got something, but I don't see it right off. Knight e7, so he wants knight c6, logical. Do I not have a way to stop it? Probably not, of course, knowing my luck. Question is, wait, rookie eight, knight c6. We now have six, if I play h3, knight c6 and rookie eight. No, b5, no, rookie eight. Knight. Crud, I don't have any time here either. I feel like there's something that I'm not seeing here, but yeah, I just don't see it. I just got to move. Ah, that's not what I want to do. Oh, he takes. Interesting. I did not expect that. Actually, I just take and take. Hmm. Gotta come with a move. Gotta move. Why am I unable to move suddenly? Okay, I'm trying to run the king in here. Maybe rook c2, rook c1. That's a mistake. Okay, step one. Step one in the process of winning the game. Step two. Where's the move? I queen. I stop the square. There we go. 
There we go. There we go. Another win. <sighs> tough games. Very tough. This guy's good. Let's play D4. Play standard. Go D5 and castle. Two more for 3250. Something like that. Yeah. No, I mean, chess is hard. Oh, it's just castle and take. I'll play M peasant. Actually, I can just take with the knight. Why did I do that? interesting okay i'll obviously go e5 here always to the last 10 seconds you just got to keep the game alive you can keep the game alive good things can always happen but that's easier said than done knight g4 is a strange move i'll take pawn structure is not ideal for black here if i go knight e4 or I also just take and play bishop f4 but i think knight e4 looks right yeah just knight e4 and takes do what he does if he's good, what are you? I don't know. It's like when Magnus was asked about his result in, in London Chess Classic. Same kind of thing. He was like, you know, you you, 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 th you said Vichy had a good result, but if, if if you won the tournament, then what is it for you? Um, and I remember, I, I think Magnus was like, well, it's normal. It's expected for me. He said something like that when they when they tied for first place. They tied, but Magnus won because he had more wins. They had the plus three and one scoring system. Knight B7. Okay, now this doesn't look right. Um h3 i mean i have an h5 too maybe ah, i know i'm better but i don't know how to prove it so i'm gonna go h3 go an h5 and hit the pawns i know i'm better but i don't know how to prove it here Okay, it goes knight d5. I can take take the knight. Knight d5 actually a very good move, by the way. I guess I'll go here and force a trade. I'm gonna sack the rook, of course, if I have to. Here he does though. Brandon is playing this quite well, though. He's defending this much better than I expected him to. And it's still not clear at all. Bruges is still number one. Oh, you're talking uh, you're talking about over the board, yeah. Who cares? I, I don't I don't care I mean I don't care over the board online whatever I just stream okay it goes for I sack the rook I take and let's see I go like 96 I assume oh I have knight f7 actually wait now I have knight f7 since he went knight f7 might just be winning actually knight f7 takes takes yeah why not yeah what am I what am I smoking king g7 bishop h6 king g8 I have knight d6 with the classic fossil and it's also a pyramid of Giza too so he takes I take yeah now I'm just up a pawn and I mean this should be winning if I don't do something insane. Go C4. I mean, Rook D1, I just... Uh, he goes 94. Okay, but now I have Bishop H6. And now he has problems with his king as well. If I get Rook G7, I'll just go B4. A3, of course. And now, I mean... I guess I'll go back. I don't even have to, but it's king f1, maybe. Okay, he just got his knight stuck. Uh, I mean, I don't really care online over the board. I just want to play good chess. That's all that I care about in particular. It doesn't really matter. I mean, for someone like Danny, it does. Like he he doesn't have he doesn't have the over the board opportunities. Excuse me. So of course for someone like Daniel, online's all he has. So of course he should focus on it. But um, like to me, it's all kind of the same. I don't really, I don't really care either way. I need to make sure I don't blunder. Yeah, for me, it's I mean online or the board. It's all it's all kind of the same. Same hash brown as we like to say. Actually, sorry, no. Someone that you didn't say hash brown. What am I smoking? Uh, let's just drop back. <laughs> Yeah. Did I roast him? No, actually, I'm not roasting him, um, but I can see why you would say, think that's a roast. It's it's not a roast, but I can see why you would say you would think it is. No, it's just Danny doesn't have the opportunities to play. I mean, he doesn't have the opportunities. That's just reality. Um, whether, whether you agree with it or disagree is a separate question altogether, but it's just the, the reality. Okay, I'm just going to try to trade the queens. No matter how you slice, it's all Bologna. Well, that's true, too. Okay, I'm going to go A5, Bishop A6, I guess. But did I blunder Bishop B5 almost? Yeah, I almost did, but mm, not great. Yeah, I have to go here. 
Yeah. Is it because he's a commentator? No, it's because Danya doesn't... A, he doesn't prioritize playing tournaments, obviously. It goes without saying. So he doesn't prioritize playing classical blitz. I mean, playing classical chess blitz, whatever you want to call it. Whatever, however you want to slice the Bologna. Uh, he doesn't focus on it. Um, let's just trade the queens here. Um, one second. I, I, I don't want to blunder here. I think this is okay. I just want to get an end game no matter what. Trip G5. Okay, so I can obviously trade. I don't really love it, but I think it's fine. I guess I'll just go here, knight e7 and knight c7. Yeah, knight c7, and then the knight gets active, and at least it's just a game. Game event. It's just an end game, which is all that I really can hope for here. I don't really want to kick the knight until I have to. I don't want to waste time. That doesn't look right to me, because now I get knight b4, potentially. Um, yeah, now I still think I delay. I, I'm going to delay this as long as I humanly can. Until I have to play h6, I'm going to delay it. Okay, he goes knight e3, so now I kind of don't have a choice. Now I think I have to kick him. And then I go b5, and I open it up, and I, I think I'm fine here. There's no ice skater now, and I'm covering both these squares with these knights. It's very much a game now. Very much a game. Let's just take d3 logical i can go knight before maybe and then go wait do i have knights a2 i do because i can take i can go here and then i can go knight e2 and then i hit him the other way yep these knights coordinate like a bunch of jumping jumping ponies there we go Look at this rhombus. I don't know what a rhombus is, but a rom you mean a rhombus tri triangular or the check and take. Okay, now th you know what's bad about this end game? This is very reminiscent of an end game I had against David Howell in Gibraltar in 2007. Extremely reminiscent. I'll pull the game up after this one because it's probably the last time I'm going to play anyway. So, very, very reminiscent of a game I had against uh, David, Sir David. Let's go here very reminiscent very very reminiscent um i'm gonna go here oh wait why did i do that whoops wait what was that that was not what i intended to do but probably okay how do i remember these games uh okay resign all right let me show you guys okay howl nakamura gibraltar yes yes let's pull it up uh 2015 eight years ago you guys Let's pull up this game. Let me change the scene, and you'll see exactly what I'm gonna say here. So is this the right one? That just, I guess any scene works. But let's go here. Or, yeah, that looks bad. That looks bad too. Okay, this, this looks better. Um, pull this down. There you go. Okay, and let me move my cam above this. Where's my cam? There we go. All right, so yeah, so this Howl game, I'll show you exactly what it was. la di da di da it's a random game. Um, like I said, you guys, what did I tell you guys? It's very similar, same kind of structure. It's a classic. Here, I guess I have one extra pawn on the board, so it's six on five versus five on four. But to just show you guys the position, like back here, as we get to this position right around here, it's very similar. It's the same kind of structure. Oh no, it is the same. Oh, it is. It actually is the same. It's five. It is six on five. It is the, it is the same. I mean, it's a little bit different, obviously, where the pawns are placed, but it is along those lines. Very, very similar. Um, very similar. And yeah, and then I didn't I didn't win this end game, which was very uh very upsetting because I think I was on seven out of seven or something toward. I was just well on my way to winning the tournament. But it is what it is. At any rate, once again, that's how it goes. So I'm going to go use the restroom quickly. We're going to come right back. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to look for another Blitz game if I can.